Hey, I'm Megan Scully, and this is the Limerick Post Show. We're coming to you from a guestkins in Limerick, and I'm joined by John from Little Hours. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Welcome to Limerick. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a big one tonight playing in Dolan's, which is like the creme de la creme for musicians. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite venues uh, to play ever, so uh, buzzing, buzzing for tonight. Have you played Dolan's a few times before? You haven't, you? A couple of times, yeah. yeah. So just uh, we're at the stage now, we just love coming back, and we know what to expect, and yeah, well, we have a few surprises for tonight, but oh. uh, we'll see. We have to, you're, you're saying we have to, we'll have to go now and wait for <laughs> exactly. right, yeah, as I got here I saw all the band like, and all the mu- all the instruments and everything coming out so and the van obviously going so it's just you're, it's a constant like van life I suppose it is when we're touring so at the moment yes and I absolutely love it um, just I know it doesn't sound great like being stuck in a van with four five <laughs> other other lads but uh, I love it it's just it's just great crack and it's kind of the payoff for all the work that everyone puts in f- to the album and stuff. I suppose like you're stuck in the studio for so long, which I know, I'm sure is great fun as well, but mm. you know, it's real kind of like long hours, long days, long weeks, but then I suppose yeah. this now is the, where you get to have the fun and the crowds and everything. Yeah, a wee, bit, a wee bit more fun and a bit more uh, relaxed. Well, at times, for me it is because of my amazing tour manager that sorts everything out and I just have to show up, but uh, yeah, it's just, this is the fun part. So tell us now about the new music. The new music is... Um, just lots of new songs about things that I've got up to in my life in over the last couple of years, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's basically all I can say. It? Dream Girl it was the first single from the album, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Dream Girl is a song about uh, a very good friend of mine that has the cr- has the craziest dreams ever, and used to always text me her like dreams. It would be like the most mental kind of stuff that you could think of. Like she, would, I don't know, she'd be having a dream about rescuing dogs and stuff like that, and how she thought it was real. Anyway, so I had all these dreams, and I was like, I want to write a song with that idea in mind, and then I kind of ended up re- changing it slightly to be more uh, about not wanting to give up on your dreams and wanting to stay sort of young. So a few messages in there. A few messages in there, yeah. It's I just love how like, <laughs> she's probably texting you going, what do you think this dream means? And you're like, okay, lyrics, I've got a song. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and to all my friends, that's kind of what I do. I'm, I'm just using everybody for songs. So. Well, actually, we were chatting to um, Connor Ward recently, and he was saying that uh, he had a song out, and I was like, oh, what's the song about? It's about sailing away and sailing around the world. And he was like, it's actually a friend at work. She sailed around the world, and she told me all her stories, so I turned it into a song. I <laughs> Yeah, no, that's kind of what happens. So, do you mix is mixed music your own life and your friend's life, or do you find just whatever kind of inspiration you get? Yeah, I kind of both. Whatever, whatever I can write about, I think just um, it just comes. I don't think about it too much. Just whatever weird sort of lyrics kind of pop out, I'll kind of s- grab them and then kind of finish the song around them and stuff. So. Is it hard? too like when maybe you have maybe something like a personal story and you want to put into a song but then you're like oh because then everyone's going to know maybe something that you don't really necessarily want to share but then it's a really good song yeah. so you're like what do I do I think you can learn how to disguise yeah. <laughs> you're like, things that's my like friend. that yeah um, I think that's a, a key part is to try and not uh, be too um, obvious yeah. about as well if you want to keep your friends that is like so uh it's good to be able to disguise things and let people have their own meanings as well but um, as long as you know yourself what it is I think that's that's all that really matters yeah no, that's, that is cool now you're a Donegal man but you're living in, in the big smoke yeah living in Dublin uh, but definitely a very proud Donegal man <laughs> yeah. what's your favourite part of Donegal and why? Killy Beggs because <laughs> that's where I'm from <laughs> and it's amazing it's beautiful and uh, yeah just so I'm actually I just feel lucky that that's where I, I was born and uh grew up yeah, so it's, I, it's weird like it's just uh it's definitely just a, a, I think it's a Donegal thing that everyone well it's an Irish thing as well everyone's just so proud of where they're from yeah. which is amazing so no, uh, and I'm no different now I do obviously check up on Instagram and I see that aside from music you love painting I do a wee bit of painting yeah I just started painting to do um album sort of artwork and not even album artwork, but single artwork and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I was slightly forced into it, but I also I really enjoy it. So, but you're being from Donegal, like I feel like every time you look out a window, 
there's something to paint right in front of you. Yeah. Uh, maybe I get some inspiration from that, surely. But uh, yeah, I'm, I literally any paintings I do are kind of very abstract, um, and by that I mean I can't paint anything that I want to paint. So I just <laughs> pretend. I'm just like, yep. Throw a painted canvas. All these colours are lovely. So. <laughs> I, Here's my masterpiece. I don't really know what it is, but I want you <laughs> to pick what it is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm a bit like a therapist, like, you know, <laughs> what do you see here? Um, but yeah. What are the plans now for the next couple of months? Next couple of months, um, doing lots of shows. Uh, I'm going out to Germany to do some um, do some shows and just book it in more for the rest of the year and do uh, a lot of promo for the album. And yeah, that's it. Mike, we were saying, was telling us earlier that obviously we're in Mageshkins, they're in Dubai, and he's saying you've been over there a few times, and he's uh, he says it, apparently it's pretty fun over there. It's fun, yeah, it's good over there. Um, I'd love to get back soon, um, but yeah, no, I've been very lucky to uh, have the opportunity to go out, been out a few times now actually, and they're always so good to us, and and yeah, it's, it's amazing. Because they are originally Donegal family, aren't they? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. they are. Yeah. Th- I'm pretty sure. We might have to That's probably the only that. reason we, we're going out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I know, come on. <laughs> um, but I just think it's great because I've been dying to go over every year, especially on the St. Patrick's weekend. Yeah. But then like all my friends in Dubai and they're watching other stories and I'm seeing all you guys over there, like all the Irish acts and I'm like, this just looks amazing. It's literally like going over to uh, like a festival in Ireland with ridiculous weather. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's like. Um, so yeah, it's definitely so go if you can. Uh, it's packed of Irish people. Yeah, it's very good. Sounds like a really fun place. I've only ever been over there for a couple of hours, and like that, it's just really hot. Yeah. I suppose we're in the middle of the desert, so what do you expect? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's class now. It's always good fun. Now tell us, of course, we're in Limerick. Um, you're gigging in Dolan's. Aside from Dolan's, is there anywhere else in Limerick you get a chance to go see, or is it just a case of gig road next venue? Or do you ever get some downtime when you're here? Um, actually, unfortunately, there hasn't been that much downtime yeah. in Limerick ever. It's sort of been, um always in the middle of a tour um so it's kind of been in and do sound check and do the show and then we're gone the next morning but uh w- when we get here we just live in dolan's pretty much and, <laughs> and they feed us and they, they give us and it's just it's like heaven so it's, it's great well we were asking um some of the Limer post show uh, viewers, um, you know, if you were to go spend a day in Limerick, what you should do. Mm. And obviously Dolan's is one of them, but you're playing there anyway, so that's that's going to take off the list. Yep. Um, the milk market at the weekends is one where you come in and you can like get coffees and fresh okay. produce. Um, JJ Bowles is one of the bars that was mentioned to go for a pint of Guinness. Uh, Kerr Gower for chicken wings if you're a fan of chicken wings. Okay. Um, uh, they're a huge fan of them around here. Um, chicken Hut for this special gravy that they have that nobody knows the recipe to, right. but it's famous. Chicken Hut gravy. Yeah, that sounds it's a thing. It sounds like I think the guys will jump at that surely and then uh, someone else said icon for a boogie like proper like old school dance music like real kind of okay you know taking it back up here Spice Girls Boyzone you name it you're going to hear it inside there yeah that sounds good boy hard to beat Boyzone I think so uh, well there you go yeah were you a fan of up no <laughs> my first gig was Boyzone was it point I um I'm, uh, maybe I shouldn't say it actually you might think I'll be very uncool if I tell you well, but I think one of the first bands I ever listened to was Busted and that's not bad that's pretty bad no, like, <laughs> you'll hear Year 3000 when you're an icon Year 3000 is it really yeah, okay I'll yeah, they'd, they'd be definitely be there then so and uh, what I go to school for that was probably oh, the, yeah, the biggest song of my you know my 12 year old life <laughs> <laughs> not a bad song now speaking of songs you're going to perform for us yeah what are you going to perform uh, I'm going to do a song called Favourite Clothes oh, and it's from the album all I can say is thank you so much for chatting to the Repose show thank you and for any social media is it Little Hours all across the board yep yeah, it's Little Hours music Brilliant. across the board Twitter Instagram Facebook yep and and like if I missed any app I'm trying to think YouTube YouTube that's one people are trying to get back into so yeah. well, there you go that's, a, that's the mall there that's the plug yeah. done thanks so much again for chatting to us oh, thank you thanks for having me we're going to go and uh, listen to your song class thank you and hey I heard you are leaving time Needed a change, now I'm not arrived And hey, I heard you were going away And 
maybe I could, maybe I could have made you stay. And hey, I heard that you find a place just by the water, and it never rains. And I heard. There's a boy, there's a boy who can make you smile. And all I want to do is take you to the city, take you to your favorite part of town. And you'll dress up in all your favorite clothes. So I can dress you down And hey, I heard you were home again And home to stay, I heard from your friends and Maybe I could take you out some time Like that night we like that night we got drunk on way and all I wanna do is take you to the city and take you to your favorite part of town and you'll dress up in all your favorite clothes so I